Hello dear students, uh, welcome to the fourth lecture of the processing of the data. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the, the applicability of the software in the data analysis. So the first lecture we discuss uh, editing of the data, then coding of the data, then after that there is a third lecture regarding your the tabulation. And one of the important element of this uh, 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 editing and the coding of the data, that is the applicability in the software. That means suppose your coded data is applicable into your the SPSS. This that is mainly for the analysis side. And this lecture, we are going to discuss how the questionnaire is constructed and this questionnaire is related with SPSS and the coding. So the first of all, uh, the, the questionnaire is one of the important element of the data collection. And as a researcher, it's always frame the questionnaire and this questionnaire is given to the respondents and respondents feel this questionnaire sent back to the uh, investigator. And the next stage of the investigator is the uh, pre-testing and after that the checking of the questionnaire and the next process is the coding of the data so coding this is already familiar the assigning the number the symbols to the the particular question that is known as you are the the coding and this lecture we are going to discuss how to code the data how to code the data in the questionnaire this is one of the important elements okay uh, let us start the one uh, start with a questionnaire and the coding Okay, this is uh, this is one of the important one uh, one of the questions regarding your the questionnaire. And the question is the age of the respondent. Suppose you are frame a questionnaire. Uh, you are the first important question is the age of the respondents. This is the question. Okay, and the question that is the age of the respondents. You give the option there is below thirty, the thirty to forty-five, forty-five to sixty, and above sixty. So this is the question. Below thirty, the thirty to forty-five, forty-five to sixty, and above sixty. Suppose as a researcher give the option. For the respondent, the first category is below 30 and 30 to 45, 45 to 60 and above 60. And this uh, questionnaire is circulated to the respondent. The respondent may be fill this information. You get the information uh, from the other respondents. Okay. And how to call the data? And the coding is to give the assigning the numbers, the symbols to the particular question. Okay. Suppose in order to call this question, we can arrange the statements here like that. Suppose below 30, that is representing the 1, and 30 to 45 is representing the 2, and 45 to 60 is representing 3, and above 60 is representing the 4. That is arrangement of the coding. Suppose uh, the SPSS read the data is a numerical format. So you must be converting the this data into numerical codes. So these are the numerical codes. Suppose the it is ticked below 30 that is representing the 1. Suppose you are the respondents click the 45 to 60 is representing the 3. Suppose you are the respondents click in the above 60 that is representing the 4. These are the coding format. So the first important element of the questionnaire that means for the analysis side the code. You must be called the entire questions. And this is one of the important questions. And how to call this question. We can call it like that below 30 is representing the 1. And 30 to 45 representing the 2 and 45 to 60 representing the 3 and above 60 is representing the 4 and suppose the respondents click in the 30 to 45 suppose you click in the 30 to 45 that means it is uh, 2 suppose clicking the 45 to 60 it means it's the 3 and suppose clicking the above 60 that is representing the 4 that is a coding arrangement so as a researcher must be familiar with the coding element for the analysis and this is one of the important examples regarding the age of the respondent. Okay, similarly, the second one is education of the respondent. Listen, uh, this education question, uh, these are the options that are available for the education. There's a PG, degree, pre-degree, and the SSLC. So how to call it? Similar way, the PG is representing the one, the degree is representing the two, the pre-degree is representing three, and SSLC representing the four. Suppose the response is clicking in the degree, that means two, Suppose response click the PG that means 1 and pre degree is representing 3 and SSLC is representing the 4. That is a coding arrangement. We can call these questions like that in this format. This is, a, this is one of the important elements. Suppose education can be called into 1, 2, 3, 4 because only the four option PG, degree, pre degree, and SSLC. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a coding. That is an example of the coding. Suppose the first question relating with age of the respondent. And we just called the below 30, 30 to 45, 45 to 60, and above 60. And these are the arrangement of the coding. There's a four option, one, two, three, four. That's a one, two, three, four. And secondly, education. 
and third question is representing the this is are you understand the use tracks or patent tracks of the firms so there is a yes or no question that's a dichotomous scheme that's a all scales are familiar with the uh, uh, scaling statements there's a nominal scale ordinary scale the yes or no question is a part of the dichotomous scheme okay a dichotomous scale or dichotomous scale there's a lot of the pronunciation regarding the scale and suppose yes or no how to call suppose yes is representing the one and no is representing two you can opt any format that's yes and the no suppose clicking at the yes yes can be arranged at the one and the no means the two so that is a arrangement for the dichotomous scale so there is a nominal scales then categorical variables and there is a dichotomous scale and dichotomous scale there is a question that is only yes or no format and suppose we get the answer in the form of the yes or no suppose the respondent click in the no that means two and clicking the yes that means the one that's a we can call this the questions like the one and two format and here one two three four because there is a four elements are available and there's only two element yes or no that means one and the two and the fourth question suppose liquid scale question liquid scale, there's a possibility for the liquid scale question you are the questionnaire so that means there's a qualitative variable and here there is a one example regarding the qualitative statement i know the price of the product so that is a qualitative maybe agree with the statement disagree or there's a lot of possibility for this answer so this type of the arrangement is known as a liquid scale suppose you frame the liquid scale there is option the five point scale the liquid scale is always relating with the five point scale so normally there's a one two three four five there's a five options are available there's a five options available suppose coding format is very important element suppose strongly agree that means suppose respondents strongly agree there is there is a possibility for the strongly agree there is agree there is a neutral there is a disagree and there is a strongly disagree suppose you are the respondents clicking the strongly agree that is representing the five and suppose click agree is representing the four the neutral that is a three and disagree that is a two and strongly disagree is a one that's the format of the liquid scale there's a five four three two one format uh, so there's a better format uh, some pupils are called like the one two three four five format it's better suppose strongly agree that is a good statement so there's a give the five and agree statements are given to four and there is a neutral there's a three and the disagree is a two and strongly disagree is a one so that is an example regarding the coding of the liquid scale format that is qualitative statement how to how the quality statements are coded the qualitative statements are coded like that in the form of the liquid scale and this is the format of the liquid scale there's five point scales are available and there's strongly agree agree neutral disagree and the strongly disagree and he, we can code like that that's a strongly agree is representing the five and agree is a four the neutral three and the disagree two and strongly uh, disagree is a one that's a coding format so the, the respondents uh, opinions or the respondents uh, fill the forms in different format and we can assign the numbers for the statements okay so these are the four categories of the relating with your the questionnaire and the first questionnaire relating the, the categorical variable like the age there is a four option we can call the one two three four format and similarly education there is a pg disagree and pre-degree sslc format there is a four variable there is a one two three four and there is a, a, a dichotomous scale yes or no question called like the yes or the no yes representing the one and no is representing the two and similarly suppose there is a liquid scale qualitative statement can be called like the strongly agree agree neutral disagree and strongly disagree there's a strongly agree representing the five four and the agrees representing the four the neutral three and disagree two and strongly disagree is the one okay that's a different styles of the coding regarding with your the, the questionnaire so you must be familiar with the questionnaire and the code the elements of the questionnaire in the systematic way for the detail analysis okay uh, the next we discussing the spss okay the, uh, the already discussed the age of the respondents and you are the education of the respondents and the they caught on a scale yes or no questions and the finally the liquid scale question and then after that how to caught this element into SPSS that's a very important element 
as a researcher's point of view the SPSS is a very important software for the analysis and how to caught these uh, statements into the SPSS and this is the sheet of the SPSS suppose you install the SPSS we can see the uh, SPSS sheet SPSS install you can automatically click on the sheet and these are two this is the sheet regarding your SPSS then the two important elements one is the data wise and you are the, the variable wise and okay this is the arrangement of the SPSS we can see the data uh, data view and you are the variable view Okay, you have already called the variable. Suppose you have a questionnaire, you have the variables. Okay, the first important option is just click the variable button. Okay, this is the uh, variable sheet. And just click the first one. You have the question. Is the first question is age. Just give the first question. That is age. This is question number one. That is representing you are the age. Just click. I just can see the cell is activated very important the cell is uh, the actuator okay and just give the variable name so the question is regarding your the age sorry uh, is your the age so age is one of the important elements so just click the variable this age the first question is regarding your the age suppose the first question we discuss the age so that is first important element is uh, just click the first cell and give the question number this is question number one and the label that's the age your question number one is representing you the age and next just give your the values the values very important element we already desired is a one two three four five this often uh, sorry one two three four category of the age and just the first just click the right hand side so once again just click the here that is a this option the right hand side and values first value is just given the one the one is we already assigned it is uh, the below 30 okay we can see this is below 30 so there's a value number one is below 30 and just click the add button okay and second one is a two the it is representing the 30 to 45 and just give 30 to 45 and add so that is a second one 30 to 45 and third one that is the uh, three and just click the three and it's a 45 to 60 that is the third option available is a 45 to 60 and click the add button and another one is a four and four is representing the above 60 and just type above 60 and click the add button so we fill the entire information value number one below 30 value number two 30 to 45 value number three is a 45 to 60 and value number four is above 60 okay then after that click the ok button okay your the values are included in the first question that is a arrangement of the the labels and the values so give the label that's age is your the label then after that give the values the values just like that the one two three four we already caught it we already caught the one two three four one needs to present below 30 and two is 30 to 45 and is the three is the 44 to 60 and four leads you are the above 60 so finally just give the values and just that select your scale that's normally is your the normal scale so just click the nominal scale it's not a uh, scale is not important here but just click this nominal scale okay so this card into the first question and just see the data view you can see the first row is activated the first column is activated this column is mainly for the age you can see the activation suppose you and whatever we enter into the variables side you suddenly can see in the data view so the data view point of view we can see the question number one is activated and is a variable two. That's a variable two. That is education. And how to call this education? That's a question number two. It's education. Just click and this is an activated question number two is representing you the education. We already called it as education. And is education just give the variable name that is education. That's label name is education. And again give the values. The same arrangement. So give the values. So just click the right hand side so the first it is a one the one is we already assigned is a what is a one we just assigned 
is a PG so that is a PG and add button and two so that is the degree degree okay there is add button and three that is the pre degree the pre degree so give the pre degree okay and this give the add button and four that is SSLC so give the SSLC and add so that's our arrangement of the second question the first question the age and sort of part and second question that is education education is like the PG degree pre degree and SSLC so PG is a one and pre degree is a degree is a two and pre degree is a three and SSLC is a four and after that just click the OK button or, or as are given in the box and just click the OK button okay and the scale arrangement just select this nominal scale just selecting the nominal scale okay and the next question number three is a dichotomous scale so that is the second question q3 this is the third question and third question is relating the understanding of the text so just give the title just click and label that's understanding understanding this is a statement understanding okay and after that give the yes or no for format so just click here and the first one value one one is representing your other years and give the add and the two is representing the no and after that just click the add button so and finally click the ok so that is the yes or no question so maybe the uh, nominal just because I look in the nominal scale here again the so that is a uh, nominal uh, like three options are available that's nominal there is a ordinal then a scale and here let's just click in the nominal scale okay so the first and the another option is the question number four so there's a question number four that is regarding the price of the product so label name give the price of the product so price of the product price of the product and that is the Likert scale question so the Likert scale question that says strongly agree agree disagree statements you just give the values here the first value is the 5 the 5 is representing the strongly agree just give the strongly agree there's a strongly agree and add button and 4 is representing the another one that is the agree so agree button sorry agree and click the add button and three is the neutral that's a neutral value three it's add button and two is your the the disagree disagree okay and one is the strongly disagree so there's a one is a strongly disagree so strongly disagree disagree okay so that is arrangement of the liquid scale that is a liquid scale is a five point scale we can see the five important element there's a five four three two one and the five is a strongly agree and the four is agree and three is a neutral and two is a, the disagree and one is a strongly the disagree okay that is arrangement of the liquid scale and after that just click the ok button okay and now to select the scale that is uh, a scale button scale is representing your the uh, liquid scale so five point scale system okay so just give the entire elements into the variable the first you give the entire elements into the variable question number one two three four like that up to uh, seven question eight question like that you just add this process again and again and give the labels and assigning the values the label and the value is very important for the SPSS so the label first label is age and second education then third is understanding another one is the price okay and after that give, give the measurement and just go back to the data just go back to the data we can see the question number one two three four four cells are act four columns are activated because the four variables are entered one two three fours and similarly the four column question number one is age column that is the education and third column is the understanding column the fourth column is the liquid scale that is the price of the product so similarly these are the important elements these are the labels and representing the 
one, each column one two three four suppose the first option is the age age a uh, first question here uh, age of the respondent is a one suppose so one okay so once again okay this is one and the second question it is education category so second question is representing the education category the so two this assigning the two and third question uh, suppose understanding is a yes or no question and assign the one okay and the last question as uh, suppose the price of the product the respondents is like the five we'll assume here just assume in any other kitty in the beginning in a process continue to wonder him the first to go first person respondents or I the person the response on the field the other one assumes is a kind of get a trouble sneak was thinking about you going to take him by the ghost I thought I'll respond first respondent on the field the other thing in a first responder in a poor you can take you know I thought a spot on the field you do a first response and I thought I thought it was the age and the response I think below 30 category and upon what a quarter to one in the world and what a concourse and I've seen then second element of the home education there no education I'm looking at the two white on a and third one is represent representing the I'm by automatically third one it is understanding okay so as I understanding is a number yes yes or no go number yes so did you know then fourth question is a price of the product I'm lasting is this five point scale is five one over taken up in the last year on a friend then again second one second person the respond other than the response is like that two and three three and the there's a one and two there's a one there's a four it's so like that and then down the was near to them lower question of the info I thought was not going to information with the picture and I'm going to go you want to get a pillar and I'll go some good at the low now I'll go to the questions and I'm going to keep processing and repeat the right throws not train questions over the comments of the game party the question are the video the first question are the point of the field here then second question error the little to second question at the data single the world of India if you need the better then third question are you going to so is a three and four and here there is again one and there is a three thing you know you can I'm gonna get the questions questionnaire into a train questionnaire and feel it up on but it was any process but I'm by the way to do not put a suppose a travel since the train but I'm giving you some process and repeated on trigger but the chain the gain at the middle gate say the carrying a character lane very frame but him so that is an option here numerical format but a product just a click either gain it so that's numerical link and there is a written and the numerical format just can see that it's the first person is a below 30 other than degree car and I know other than a side no the strongly agree guy and I know and the second person 30 to 45 category person and here there is the pre degree person and there is no there's no option is no and fourth question is the option is agree you can see this comparison of the statements but okay element report in the comparisons identify an editor so the game okay that is arrangement of you other than SPSS that is simple arrangement of you other SPS in an issue to rebound questions and there you got three questions in the code another add is added the new good analysis of one editor so the game okay that is a according with the respond uh, with respect to the SPSS so once again the first to uh, give the question number this is a question number one and what is the label that is the age and give the values so this give you the, the values and finally click the ok button and just click the no, a measurement is nominal and similarly the second question that is the education and also give the values one two three four and ok button the one is a PG two is a degree and three is the pre degree and four is a CLC and just a measurement and Q3 so understandings and so give the as or no question yes or no and there is a nominal and question number four there's a price of the product and there is a strongly agree there is a uh, sorry strongly agree is a five agree is a four neutral is a three and disagree is a two and strongly disagree is a one and click the OK button and just click this measurement that is a scale okay that's the first process give the variable name and just click the data view can see then day question question number one two three four and just entering the value one two three one two three one two three four one two that just means give the numerical numbers are uh, relating with the questions and we can counter check these variables are how these variables are related with the statement just click the a and this can we can see these variables are related the first question the first question here, the person is the uh, belongs to below 30 and there uh, and here there is a 
degree group category person and if the respond is a uh, yes and there is a strongly agree to the statement and similar the second person 30 to 45 and third person 45 to 60 and his education is SSLC and Q3 is representing uh, third question that is understanding that is yes and Q4 that is a five pound scale that's a neutral value so that is the arrangement of the SPSS and the coding it's a very important element SPSS and coding and after that we are going to the, the detail analysis okay and detail analysis performed with help of the a complete coded questionnaire so when you have detail analysis performs here and one apo oru pudhi oru fill cheyittullad pole spr sheet le enganeyaanu namukku analysis karyangal brief aayittu vandu discuss cheyyanad analysis gal engane perform cheyan sadhikkum ennu avadu nammal discuss cheyanittu ponadu okay so how to perform the, the detail analysis with help of the completed spr card sheet okay let's uh, see the detailed card sheet uh, this is an example of the detailed card sheet we enter the lot of the questions uh, in this the spr sheet and these are the variables relating with the questions that means this is a variable view there's a lot of the question question number one one a one b one two then question number two three four five so the lot of, lot of the questions are entered into this spr sheet and this is the variable side of the the data sheet uh, that means these are the different response are collected through this questionnaire and these st uh, uh, statements are entered into this relevant spr sheet and here we're discussing the discussing different element that means this chapter we discuss what you mean by this uh, coding and there is a classification there is a tabulation lot of the elements and we're discussing how to perform a tables and how to perform the tables with help of this uh, enter data and can perform this uh, table tables and perform the tables and a constructive can be perform the table with help of this SPS uh, card sheet okay suppose you want to see the tables just click the analysis and just go to the uh, descriptive side and there is a frequency and so once again and uh, the first just click the analysis and just go to the descriptive and there is the frequency just click the frequency and suppose and here there is a lot of the question just pick the question that we recruit so i need the uh, frequency table of the age just click the age and just uh, click the arrow button so just enter into the variable view and another we just want to the frequency uh, table of the gender just click the gender and just click this arrow button the gender is uh, entered into the variable and also i need the education just click the education button and this arrow button that's education is entered and similarly i need the occupation and there's occupation just click the occupation and the click the arrow button so we can enter the entire age education and occupation center okay then after that just click the ok button just click the ok button we can see the output in another sheet the output performed the another sheet we can see the output just see the output is generated oh that's a very quick and fast and this output is generated and this is the frequency table just click the button and we can get the output in this within the seconds that is a detail uh, frequency table of the age this age wise information the below 30 there is 86 respondents 30 to 45 there is 94 respondents and 45 to 60 87 respondent above 60 there is a 183 respondent the total is 450 respondents and gender wise we get the information male wise 241 female wise 209 and there is a pg wise 100 respondents and the frequency is 100 and there is here the degree wise 108 and plus 2 pre degree wise 97 SLC wise 145 so this is a detail analysis get the detailed analysis with help of SPSS within the minutes within the seconds we get the frequency tables so then occupation wise is a professional salary self-employed housewife okay and once again so you get the informations and after that we want to know the another important element suppose the descriptive just click the descriptive but a frequency table and suppose you want to know the standard deviation mean median mode just click the mean median mode and similarly uh, dispersions like standard deviation the variance range so once again suppose you mean median information 
അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ അവിടെ സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കും ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക് ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് ദ മെയിൻ ദ മീഡിയൻ മൂഡ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഇസ് എ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഡിവിഷൻ വേരിയൻസ് റേഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ക്ലിക്ക് ദ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ബട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ടൺ വി ക്യാൻ സീ ദ this measurement central tendency so the mean of the age group 2.18 gender wise 1.4 education wise 2.6 and occupation wise 2.6 and median is a 3 and gender wise a 1 and is education is 3 and the occupation also 3 and mode wise a 4 there is a 1 4 4 and standard deviation is a 1.16 of the age gender 4.49 and standard deviation education wise 1 point the variance of the age group is a 1.349 gender wise 0.249 education wise 1.323 and occupation wise 1.242 and range wise is a age 3 gender is a 1 education is 3 and occupation is 3 okay that is a our age mean is an sps we all we already get the measures of center tendency like the mean median mode with help of the analysis and so also find the dispersions like standard deviations variance and the range okay and that is a, a popularity of sps within the click we get generate a lot of the information through the spss and suppose uh, you want to another information suppose you want the cross tab the compare table we want to the compare table and tabulation is one of the important part of this lecture we all discuss what you mean by the tabulation that's arranging the data in the rows and the columns and one of the important element is a cross tabulation how to find the cross tab data suppose and we want to cross tab data once again just click the analysis analysis and there's a descriptive and there is a cross tab wise section and just click the cross tab information cross tab and click you know okay and what what you want to compare suppose i want to compare the age and gender wise suppose age into the row wise column and gender into your the, the column so i want this uh, comparisons so age is into the row column and the another one sorry age into the row wise and column wise it's gender and just click we find the one statistics and just give the information yes age wise below 30 30 to 45 45 60 and above 60 and below 30 there is a 42 male and 44 female and below 30, 30 to 45 there is a 50 males and is a 44 female and 45 to 60 there is a 51 male and 36 female and is above 60 there is a 98 male and is a 85 female so there is a 241 males and the 200 not no 209 females and total is 450 so your total is always 450 this a total is counter checked easily so 241 male and the 209 females so total is 450 so that is a cross tab wise information we can get the cross tab information with help of the spss and similarly want another information we already give the age and education suppose you want the information uh, regarding the another uh, another uh, variable just click the descriptive and the cross tab and cross tab and just reset click the reset i want the another information and suppose education and occupation suppose education is click and row row wise and occupation uh, just click into the column and just click the okay button just click your the okay button i just get the informations of the education wise and occupation wise so there is a, these are the education group pg degree plus 2 and this is lc and this is the professional occupation wise group the professional salary is self employed housewife and pg the professional is 87 and salary is only 1% and self employed there is 8% and housewife is a 4% and the degree wise there is professionals are 6 and the salaries are 88 and there is a 10 self employed and 4 housewife and plus 2 wise there is a zero professional and there is a sal two salary person 63 self employed person and housewife 32 and sslc two professionals and there is a two salaried and there is a self employed 47 and housewife is 94 we can get the total is 450 450 tot number of the sample size so also already count to check the entire information with help of this statements okay so that is a speciality of the spss we get the relevant information within the one click 
okay so that is one of the important arrangements so uh, this uh, chapter we already discussed uh, the coding and how to card sheet how to card the data into SPSS this is the coding arrangement and we already familiar how to card the information to SPSS and after that the tabulations when important element this is how to frame the tables and tables are the very important element and there is a cross tab we already discussed two categories of the tables and one is the cross tab and another one is your the, the frequency table that's a frequency table this is a frequency table and this is the median mean median mode the measures of central tendency so there is also uh, measures of the the central tendency here so there's a mean median mode can easily find out the mean median mode and standard deviation okay and after that the graphical representations so it is a very important element is you the the graphical represent how to construct the graph with help of these informations okay there's a very important element uh, how to constructing the graph okay so for construction of the graph so the first just click the graph the graph we can see the legacy dialogues suppose we want to draw the bar diagram just click the bar bar and their symbol we already active a symbol bar diagram we want the different styles uh, clustered symbol and i'll just i want to just draw the symbol dog, uh, diagrams and just click the symbol diagram and there's a summarize group of the data and just define just click the define we get the one table and in this table uh, we want the information the percentage wise or the number wise case wise suppose I want the information in the percentage wise just click the percentage wise suppose with number wise just click the number wise otherwise just click the percentage wise and suppose you want the information the cumulative for percentage just click the cumulative for percentage and suppose you want the cumulative number just click the cumulative number and there's other option statistic wise mean median mode we just click the mean wise okay suppose and I want the uh, detailed diagram on the percentage wise just clicking the percentage wise suppose I, wa I want to draw the diagrams regarding the age I just click the age and put into the category just click the age and just click the arrow in the category side just add it your the age is added to the category axis okay and after that just click the ok button just click the ok but diagram is automatically inserted diagram you can see this diagram is automatically constructed oh that is a very fast this is automatically constructed the diagram is very very systematically constructed and there is a below 30 wise and 30 to 45 and 45 to 60 and above 60 okay suppose you want to uh, give attractive diagram you don't know attractive diagram acting in a martin so they can but diagram all the pattern kitty the diagram and attractive diagram I do Martin it is a sorry suppose in an attractive diagram so would specify the contract okay I'm gonna attract a diagram I keep on the mingle just double click double click the original automatically edit through it double click the number you chart edit through it okay yep any editor will get here for the little bit diagram and a size of work in a mingle and let's see another suppose that chart size can be reduced chart size and the height is can be reduced suppose to I want to only the 235 and we can be reduced can be reduced with had be reduced okay and suppose you want to uh, change the colors and just click here and there is a just click just click in this chart editor just click and you want to change the background of the information and just click the white background and just apply your the background is a white now and suppose you want the information this change the information just click here and just click the uh, uh, just click any color that you want interest okay and just apply so your colors are the changes oh this is a very systematically changing and and any information suppose bar information can be bar can be reduced it can be reduced okay so bars are reduced your size is reduced and close suppose you want to insert this diagram into the previous diagram e diagram ko pari diagram sthanathi kondra mengil just portho poittu just to click here ningala pudhi diagram ode insert avanu so that is a example can draw the the diagrams the diagrams that means can also diagram simple bar diagram with help of the spss and similarly 
another one sorry uh, there is another one another graph there is a legacy dialogs suppose you want the pi diagrams just click the pi diagrams um, then define the range and suppose you want the pi diagram of the gentle and just click the gender and insert once again just click the gender and define the scale ok and want the percentage wise just click the percentage wise and click the ok button to get the diagrams oh yes the pi diagram is activated here there is gender and there is male and the, the female so there is a lot of the construction with the help of the, the diagram so the graphical representation one of the important part of your the yes graphical representation is one of the important part of your the analysis site so what is a graphical representation that means uh, is a systematic diagrammatic representation of your the information that is a graphical representation we can draw the different graphs with help of the SPSS and there is a line chart is possible the pie diagram is possible the box plot histogram suppose you want the histograms uh, suppose you want the histo uh, histograms uh, suppose age wise histogram can be draw the age wise just click the age and put into your the variable informations that is age and just click the ok button uh, you can get the histogram oh yes you can get the histogram suppose you want to change the colors of the histogram just double click and your chart editor will be activated ok suppose you want the change you want to uh, change of this color just click here ok uh, so a lot of the information just click the columns and after that uh, you can uh, select the diagram wise information here and there is the uh, colors you can select the different colors get the mean and standard deviation here suppose you want to insert this diagram into the previous diagram in the place of this previous diagram just click the back say, backdrops and we get the uh, more efficient color wise diagram we get the mean your the standard deviation from the information so the graphical representation is one of the important part of your the uh, your the analysis site okay so this sps version we discuss how to construct the frequency table and the cross ta cross tables and the graphical representation this chapter we discuss uh, what you mean by this uh, coding we already discussed the coding and the, how the cards are entered to the SPSS and another one is the uh, uh, tabulation the table is how to construct the tables we all discuss the construction of the table the tables means uh, there is a frequency table can easily draw the frequency table with help of your the SPSS there's a frequency table example of the frequency table and there's age wise your the gender wise education wise information can easily draw with the help of your the SPSS and after that is uh, uh, how to uh, make the measures of center tendency how to identify the measure center tendency or otherwise uh, that means you are the cot deviations that means cot deviation standard deviation variance range so also identify with help of your other SPSS so this information is related to the mean median mode and here there is a standard deviation with the variance range it can be easily identified with help of your other SPSS and then after that uh, we get the cross classified table that's a male wise cross classified table so listen uh, this is a cross classification table this is a below 30 is age and gender wise information can be easily identified with help of the SPSS there's a below 30 and the uh, there is a 42 male and this is representing the different females group okay so that is a cross tab with already possible to draw the cross tabulation with the help of your SPSS so we are a lot of the cross tabulation information and after that we draw the graphs a lot of the graphs are uh, we can draw the each different styles of the graph and, and just draw the only the symbol bar diagram the pi diagram and use histograms with help of your the SPSS so the SPSS is very useful for uh, getting the information uh, from your the data it's very useful devices okay and we can draw the each and every information also it's a very important element is the the coding uh, just code the data the variables are coded here suppose the first question suppose you the variables first uh, um, question number one b is represent age just give the age and after that the uh, give the values just give the, giving the values here 
this ok button and after that get the information and you are the gender wise suppose you give the one and two the one is a male and two is a female and okay there's a p uh, education wise there is a one two three four there's a one two three four you get the information just click the ok button that is arrangement of your the spaces and the data view just entering the coded information here the one two three four information that is the numerical values are entered into your the, the data view and after that we can perform the analysis we can perform the analysis with help of this uh, information so we can draw the frequency tables and also cross tabulation and the graphs are discussed in part of this uh, lecture this because it's a very important element of this chapter there is how to consider tables and the graphs and you are the frequency table and cross tabulations all are the important elements of the uh, the graph so uh, this is a, a brief introduction regarding the SPSS and that is how to enter the data into the SPSS and how to call the data into SPSS and how to performing the statistical table and frequency table and the combined tables with the help of the SPSS okay these are the important elements okay once again uh, this is a starting uh, element of this lecture and this uh, the starting element we discuss uh, uh, the different types of the question and the, how the questions are coded the first question relating with the age the age can be different options like the below 30 30 to 45 45 to 60 and above 60 and we just like caught like the 1 2 3 4 math the below 30 is represent 1 and 30 to 45 2 and the 45 to 63 and above 60 is the 4 and similar second question education and there's a PG, the degree, pre degree, and SSLC. The PG representing the one, the degree is a two, and pre degree is a three, and SSLC is a four. So that is a one, two, three, four, four match. And after that, the third question is regarding your the understandability of the yes or no. That's a dichotomous skill. That's yes is representing the one, and no is you are the two. And the last one is uh, the qualitative statement. Now I know the price of the product. That's called the uh, liquid skill format. That is a five. That is a Four, that is a two three two one that's a five is representing the strongly agree and the four is the agree the three is a neutral and disagree is two and strongly disagree is one okay so the once again uh, the questionnaire construction and coding is very essential for the success of your analysis and just collect the questionnaire and after this card the entire elements in the different styles and this into the entered into the SPSS and already discussed how these SPSS are coded and how the statements are entered into SPSS, how the analysis are performed. That means you are the uh, chart wise tab uh, frequency table analysis, combined table analysis, and the frequency distributions and the mean me measures of center tendency, mean, median, modes, all are performed with help of the SPSS. Okay, so uh, this lecture is very useful for you are the analysis and you are the project side suppose you are the project side we want to fill these information this structure wise structure wise so is a very important element uh, for the uh, future and also for the, the project okay and the thank you the thank you so much and the thank you for watching me